everybody, my name is Shirley Ju. I'm super excited to be sitting here with Santana Ali. What's good? How good. are you? It's Feeling been a great. minute. Feeling bliss. Right. You know what I mean? It's love. For sure. Mm -hmm. I bet you're feeling good, Mr. Vegan now. Mm -hmm. Talk about this change in your lifestyle. Um, shit, I just got done with a 40 day fast. Um, you know what I'm saying? The family put me on in my man hand, you know what I mean? The health coach, the vegan coach, you know what I'm saying? He's somewhere over here. You know what I'm saying? He, he put me on the on the fast and uh it, it got me more intuitive, it got me more um spiritually, you know what I'm saying, aware of what's going on around me and I and I can't do nothing but thank him for that and thank the universe for all the premonitions that are coming to me because I made myself available for it. Right. It's real shit. Definitely. What is the forty day fast com composed of? Oh, okay. So, like, um, are you eating nothing? It's so fucking funny because when people ask me with the 40 day fast and tail, they really be thinking I'm like drinking just water or like I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Starving or some shit. Right. Nah, the 40 day fast is all herbal teas, you know what I'm saying? All cold pressed juices and all like um, alkaline water or herbal teas. That's all. Oh, uh, wait, no food? No food. 40 days straight. Wait, how? I don't know, like, I put my mind to it because all I did was fast for seven days before that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, I never fasted for two weeks, three weeks. I only fasted for one week, and then jumped straight into the forty. But like, you don't eat anything. Mm -mm. You don't get hungry. After the first week, no, because it's all in the mind. Like that's a placebo effect. It's all a trick of the mind. Hunger and shit. Like you're not really hungry. So are you back eating now? Yes, and I'm I'm 100 raw vegan, so I don't eat nothing cooked. Oh wow. Yeah. So like, you can still eat vegan food, but people eat vegan food, but it's cooked. It's just like. It's, it's dead, basically. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's touch of fire. So, right. only thing I, that I eat that touch of fire is, or uh, drink that touch of fire is herbal tea. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm new to this shit. Like I said, my, my man has put me onto this lifestyle. Right. And I, and I love it, and my soul attaches to it. So, um, I'm just I'm just living it. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's fire. Talk about just coincide with your spiritual journey as well. Um, I feel like for me, it really started with the food for real, for real. The food I wasn't taking because it's like, it clogs your brain up, it clogs your memory up, it clogs. It just clogs you as a vessel. We gotta understand we are a vessel for the higher beings to right. give us certain information and give us certain premonitions for us to for us to take it and us to like like the premonitions we get in our dreams. We gotta take more uh, heed to them because that should be telling us about certain shit that's about to happen. It'd be warning us about certain shit. You know what I mean? Right. So like for me, it all started with the food, and then when I began to eat differently and then start to you know. I'm, I'm still working on it, but speaking differently and doing different things like that, I began to see myself be more clear right. for certain different, different uh, higher messages. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I meditate, try to meditate every single day. Um, you know what I'm saying? Try to pray every single day and try to just be consistent on it. Because once you open yourself up to that, to that realm, you, it's not like you can like be on and off with it. You can't do it one day and then stop for a whole week and then try to get back on it because that's when you'll get smited. Right. I, I feel like. Definitely. How much? How long do you meditate for? Probably for like two hours, three hours. You know what I'm saying? Like really? Yes. I I, I turn. Wait, I can I can't even do yeah. ten minutes. Stop. I, really? I, I turn the lights off. I man, I, it's all I like all white candles. You know what I'm saying? I sit there and I and I don't put a time limit on it. But when I look at the time after I do it, I'm like, what the fuck? It's been like three hours. Like real shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Talk about your workout regimen too. I I got homies that do boxing. I got homies that do all different sort of type of um. Uh, workout shit. So now we're getting into the calisthenics where we don't have to go to the gym. We just, you know, pull up bars and push ups, crunches, all that shit. So it makes it way easier because it's like bars. I got bars in, in the house and shit. Even this right here, it's like we can we can do workouts off of that. You know, people be feeling like you got to be in this certain environment to do this. Nah, it's, it's not about that. You can do you you can do it anywhere. Certain workouts that we do. So I just be um, looking at all the different opportunities to, uh, you know, what I'm saying, put myself to the test. Um, talk about just. You're quitting smoking and drinking as well? Yeah, on a 40 day fast. So, in, in the beginning of my fast, because I've been smoking since I was a jet, I've been smoking since I was young. Right. You know what I mean? So, when I when I first started the fast, I was smoking from like for like a week into it. And then um, I started to feel like just sluggish, like waking up, not feeling like working out, not feeling like doing anything. So, I'm like, you know what? And I had experiences, I feel like we all had experiences off of liquor. We used to be on some. Uh, also, uh, you know, reckless type stuff. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So I don't want to be reckless. I don't. I don't want that that side of me to come out. You know what I'm saying? Ever. I, I want to be able to tame myself at all at all times. So um, you know, 
just even beyond the fast, I'm like, you know what? I don't ever want to drink again because I don't crazy. like what it does to me. That's you know what I mean? Yeah. And just smoking, I feel like smoking just clouds our, our mind and docile and makes us like. But in the sense, don't you feel like it boosts your creativity in the studio? Mm -mm. What? Because I didn't, I didn't been in the studio like I was on day twenty five of the fast. I recorded five songs in my studio session, and and then my um my, my, my other homie recorded a few songs, but uh they were smoking and and I wasn't and I didn't eat for I I didn't eat or drink anything that whole day but water, and I recorded like five songs in a session. So when I did that shit, I'm like damn like I don't need the shit that they tell me I need. Right, that's fire. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's fire. Um, For real? Yeah, I know you released BOA in July, right? Yeah, BOA. BOA. Yeah. It's not BOA? Nah, BOA. BOA, like BOA Steakhouse? Nah, like BOA, I feel like BOA is the most current song, like one of the most current songs. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just a lot of shit going on right now that kind of like coincides with the message of BOA. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Especially all this EDD shit that's going on right now. Like right. all this shit that's going on right now, it coincides directly with the message of the song. Mm -hmm. So like for me, it was just kind of my effort to, um, Jump into the current world right. and like kind of like let them know that I'm I'm right here with you. Right. you know what I mean, and I and, and I can like jump on your frequency. Right. You know what I mean, definitely. Speaking of, you just played me frequency. Talk about all the fucking heat you got in the vault. So I just I just left Atlanta. Me and Chase the Money working on a project. Right. You know what I'm saying. Me and me and Kid Hazel. We we locked in. We tapped in. We making we making heat. You know what I'm saying. Every chance we get. I got like over three four hundred songs in the vault that's really? not released. You know what I'm saying. So right now for me it's just all about a um, it's a test of strategy. You know what I'm saying? Just being very strategic and knowing exactly how I want my rollout to go. Because mm -hmm. I know me doing this the right way, it'll open the correct doors for right. me to make the right moves. You know, right. it's it's uh, quality over quantity. Right. Like, I, can, I can drop a hundred songs right now, but what if they all fall on deaf ears? Right. You know, or, I, or I can drop one video right now and, and it goes plat. And then I have all these songs in the vault that I can, you know right. what I mean? Strategically move off of. Talk about just, you know, your relationship with Chase and Kim Hazel. How did y'all meet? How did you end up in the A where they just like pull up? Um, so basically, me and me and Kid Hazel, Matt Lockwood sings, like Matt yeah, Lockwood right. does sing. Um, Kid Hazel, like, like my, my big brother now, like, you know what I mean? Me and him speak every single day, right. you know what I'm saying? So he's, I got... And he's, he's vegan too, right? Yes, yes, yes. So that's... Y'all connect. And, and that's the um the base of our relationship, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? The, the health conscious stuff and the spiritual right. conscious, uh, right. you know? So, uh, and, and Chase is also getting on it as well, so... It's just this is a brotherhood really. It's more than music. Cause we don't even speak about music that much. Right. Like we literally just be on be on our shit, be on real life shit, real life time, and then everything else falls into place after that. Like me and Hayes talk about real shit all day long. I swear to God, we talk about real shit all day long. Then he said, Oh yeah, I sent you a pack. Like, okay, bet. And then I, I I go knock the pack out and he's like, Oh, okay, bet. And, yeah, yeah. and the records are what they are. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? That's fire. Um, what about Chase? How did y'all tap in? Shit, me and Chase tapped in. Chase was Chase tapped in with one of my bros regarding something else. So once Chase tapped in with him, Chase just heard my music from them, and then Chase Chase a real one. Chase a real one off top. You know what I'm saying? Chase heard my shit, and then me and him locked in automatically. Send me a pack, and then he just saw my work ethic. When I'm in the A, he he he, he give me access to all the beats. That's he give me access to all his beats in his studio, and I'm knocking like I, I, I'm out there for a week. I knock off 15 tracks with him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just all off love and all off the strength. So. Right. Just, it's, it's just love. Them, them, them guys are like my, my real big bros. That's fire. How does um, just the vibe in the A compare to LA? The A is very, it's, it's this, okay, so basically the sun doesn't come out like that. You know what I mean? It's, oh, right. it's gloomy, but it's a great place to work. Mm -hmm. It's a great place to be in the studio and be in the cave. Right. So for me, I just love working. I love being in the studio. So when I come here, I come here to be in a social environment. I come here to network. When I go to the A, I also go there to network, but I go there to work. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Um, on BOA, you say you're a dream chaser. What are your dreams? Ooh, that's, that's a good question. So I, I represent Child of the Pyramids. Mm -hmm. So, in a, I don't want my shit to be like the next Walt Disney for real, for real. Okay. Like I understand Ye says, what, like Ye's really doing that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm in a younger generation, mm -hmm. and I truly feel like I have what it takes to be um, the next Walt, the mm -hmm. next fucking like that next guy. Right. So my, my, my dreams are whatever that entails. Creating right. my own story world and living within that. Fire. Talk about just, you know, you say you got the best independent project you we're going to ever hear. Talk about just so, putting that together. Is there a name yet? It's called Ali. Okay. So um, Ali stands for all love intentionally. And, and my real name is Santana Ali Bowie. It's my real name. Fire. You know what I'm saying? So the premise of the, the Ali project is just overcoming adversity. Right. Yeah, I mean, I done been through so much shit that people don't even know about. Right. So, like, for me, I didn't have no major label push. I didn't have no OG sitting in the studio with me, giving me 
game and telling me how to do this shit. I really had to sit with my bros and figure this shit out. Right. So for me, that that's like just the intention that been put into the album and just the frequency of the music is so high and I feel like nobody has ever done that before. Right. You know what I mean? Just to put it in the simple terms. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's on our level. Definitely. What about features? You got any features or you just do locked in your solo shit? Um, I'm locked in my solo shit right now. Okay. But I but I am I, I am interested in doing some features for sure. I'm interested in doing features with people I respect. Yeah. And uh, when I was in the A, I, I did a feature with a, with a guy named uh, uh, KT. Um, uh, so, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out OZ, you know what I mean? Just pe just my, my guys out in the A that's, that's, that's hustling, that's, you know what I mean? That's doing what they do. Right. And um, for me, I don't really be doing the features off of some like Hollywood shit. I do the features because, you know what I mean? If the vibe is right, we're gonna, we gonna do the feature. Right. You know what I mean? I got you. How do you plan to reshape the industry? Showing them the new module of independence, showing them, it's all about subject matter, it's all about the narrative. It's all about like, Everybody talking about the same shit. Everybody's using the same, the same uh, template to rise to success. I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna literally flip the script on everybody. Right. And show them now. Nah, yes, I'm raw vegan. Yes, I don't eat nothing, nothing cooked. Right. Yes, I, I do this. Yes, I do that. And that shit that people would normally look at like it's like, oh, what's that? Like, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna show them. And this, this ain't what you think. Mm -hmm. This, this is is the new. This is the new. Like this, this the new rock. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this what Jay Z and them was dreaming of back in the day. I'm that. Right. For real. That's fire. Um, you you said you were putting out a workout mixtape before the official project. Yes. Um, what do you expect from that? Um, the records on that project is crazy. Me and me and me, me and Gabe, me and directed by Gabe, the best videographer in the world. Shout you know what I'm saying? Shooting the, the, us right best now. Best in the world, yeah. shooting us right now. Salute. You know what I mean? Salute. Me and him locking on, locking in on that frequency, and I feel like that's gonna just. I've been really uh, influencing a lot of people that watch me to work out, to eat okay. differently. Like people be telling me like, damn bro, I just did a juice, I did a three day juice fast. I see people doing water cleanses, all That's kind right. of stuff. Like, like, like for real, so when I see that shit, I'm like, damn, like, let me put out a body and work with that. Mm -hmm. And then let me also tap in with my bros who do the workout stuff as well. So right. let me work out with the music. Right. You know what I mean? And that's gonna really influence them. So from there, I, I got a song on there called Beat in the Bag. It's uh, if I got the bag and he got the bag, then we got the bag increasing the bag. You know what I'm saying? Like really influential right. music that's right. really like pushing people to, to strive and be successful right. type shit. Definitely. I love it. Cool. What can we talk next then? Um, Right now, the work the workout mixtape is coming next. Okay. Uh, me and me and Gabe are working on some uh, like we on we on our Gatorade break shit. You know what right. I'm saying? Like we on that like we on that like first quarter, fourth quarter, whatever you want to call it vibes. Right. You know what I mean? So you know what I'm saying? We are we 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 in it for the long run. Right. You know what I mean? So it's all about consistency. Definitely. Fire. Is there anything else you want to say? Santana, I'll leech out of the pyramid, man. I'm coming real soon. I'm coming hard. I'm coming consistent. You know what I mean? Share the jewel, man. I, I appreciate you. Okay. I appreciate yes. you. I'm excited to see where this goes. Yes. For sure. Fire.